Today on Sci Guys, laser microscopes. Welcome to Sci Guys. I'm Ryan. And I'm Mark. And on today's episode, we're going to be building a laser microscope. Look, boy. Get it. Get it. Get it, boy. Oh. A laser is a mechanism that amplifies and focuses light into a coherent beam. The ingredients you're going to need for this experiment include a few samples of water. We're going to be using local pond water, tap water, and some dog water. You can also use dirty bath water. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Uh, for equipment, we're going to need a small plastic syringe. A couple of glasses. And most importantly, a strong green laser. Now, in this case, we're using one that's just under 5 milliwatts, but the stronger the laser, the better a picture you're going to get. Although we're not dealing with anything hazardous in this episode, it's never a bad idea to wear gloves and an apron or lab coat to protect from spills and splashes. Also, you should never shine a laser directly into anybody's eye, as this can cause permanent retinal damage. First step we're going to need to do is fill up our syringe with one of our water samples. Now you should keep in mind that between samples, you should probably flush the syringe out so you don't get any cross-contamination. So for this step, we're just going to fill it up. A little bit of water. The next step in your experiment is to take your two glasses, place them side by side on your table, and then take your syringe and balance it between the two glasses. Next, you're going to press down on the plunger very gently so you have a droplet of water dangling from the bottom of the syringe. The next step should be done when your room is really dark. Aim the laser at the syringe and bring it downwards until the dot of the laser intersects the water droplet and you see a projection on your wall. The first water sample we're going to look at is the water sample from the pond. As you can see, there's quite a bit of life floating about in this little water droplet. The second sample we're going to look at is the tap water. In this sample, there's nothing floating in our water, which means it's very clean. Our final water sample is the sample we took from the dog's water dish. There's actually more microbial organisms and other particles floating around in this water than there was in our pond water. So next time your dog licks you, you know what's in its lick. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. First, we need to understand how a laser works before we can understand what's happening in our experiment. Inside a laser is a collection of atoms. When we pass electricity from the battery in our laser through these atoms, we excite them into producing light. Once one atom produces light, it stimulates the other atoms to do so as well. The light produced in this reaction is bounced back and forth through the atoms between two mirrors. As the light bounces, it forces the atoms it passes by to produce even more light. This reaction will happen over and over until we have tons of light stored up. If we open up a little hole in our laser, we let out the collection of light as an intense coherent beam. This is known as a laser beam. So how does a laser beam allow us to magnify the things in our water? When the laser beam enters the droplet of water, the droplet acts as a spherical lens, refracting the light and causing a magnified image on the wall. When the light is magnified through the droplet, it casts shadows of anything that is floating inside the water. This is how we can see all the small organisms and other particles floating inside the dirty water. There will be a lot of turbulent movement initially in the droplet. If you wait a little while for the movement to settle, you will be able to see the natural movements of the microbial life inside your droplet. That's it for Laser Microscope. Thanks for watching. And if you like this experiment and would like to see more experiments, subscribe to us on YouTube and drop us a comment below. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to this experiment or about science in general, feel free to message us on Facebook or drop us a comment below and we'll try to help you out as best possible. That's it. Bye. Bye. That water tastes funny. Here at Sci Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out, so if you do these experiments at home, record them and submit them to us as a video reply to this video. But remember, always get your parents' permission before you submit any videos to YouTube.